A Minnesota dentist facing backlash for a controversy that has now gone global. Dr. Walter Palmer has been all over the world hunting wild game, but it was a recent trip to Zimbabwe that now has him in hot water. He's accused of illegally killing a 13-year-old collared research lion named Cecil. Social media has been on fire. An online petition demanding justice for the lion has more than 266,000 signatures this morning. Ashley Roberts joins us from Dr. Palmer's office in Bloomington. Ashley? Jamie, Dr. Palmer's dental practice was closed yesterday, but there's been plenty of activity outside. You can see right here behind me, there's a growing memorial with uh, stuffed animal toys in honor of Cecil the lion. Officials in Zimbabwe say earlier this month, Palmer paid $55,000 to go on a guided hunt. But game officials in Zimbabwe say Palmer's guides lured the lion outside the protection of a national park. A researcher with Oxford University says he was studying Cecil and he was fitted with a GPS collar. Officials in Zimbabwe say attempts were made to destroy that tracking collar. Despite Minnesota's hunting culture, this case has caused a lot of outrage. Any hunter that's actually worth a damn will, will probably, you know, find it incredibly disrespectful repulsive. and repulsive. It's so unbelievable that he would go to another continent and spend all his money and have this big desire to go and behead and skin another like endangered animal. In a statement, Dr. Palmer said he relied on those guides to make sure the hunt was legal. Also in a statement, Palmer said, quote, I deeply regret that my pursuit of an activity I love and practice responsibly and legally resulted in the taking of this lion. Animal rights activists, they plan to show up here at Dr. Palmer's practice in Bloomington later today to protest. That will start around 4 o'clock this afternoon. Ashley, what happens to Dr. Palmer now? Well, Jamie, I can tell you those guides face poaching charges. As for Dr. Palmer, he has not been charged or extradited back to Zimbabwe, but officials there say he could face similar charges. Okay, Ashley, thank you.